a week ago today and only one by one. Only one by one. It was a game that, that Wake Forest really did a, a great job defensively, got hot from the three-point line, and had a chance to win it at the end of the ball game. Yeah, and you can see that just the confidence growing in Wake. Right away, the three-pointer up and in for Aaron Howard. Second year for her after transferring from Auburn. And you're going to look, you mentioned it, Florida State leads the league in scoring and ninth in the nation, averaging over 80 points a game. Steal by Gordon, who got the start for Latson. With injury, just wait for us. Keep your eye on number 24 in black. That is Jewel Spear, best player on this team, a dynamic scorer. Hines is not going to shoot from there. Shot clock down under a second, and Sumio got the shot off. And Gordon with the ball in her hand. Sophomore from Bradenton. Oh, got to find Simpson. And I think a heavy dose of that. I mean, K.K. Timpson is one of the most athletic players in the league. Now, Wake Forest, we saw this a lot yesterday against Virginia. The shot clock winding down. Williams able to get a shot off. And then the good offensive board and putback by Hines. Demera Hines was a monster on the glass yesterday. 11 rebounds, four of which were on the offensive end of the floor. Finishing possession, securing defensive boards. Brooke Wyckoff said, no matter what for us, whether Latson's on the floor or not, it starts on the defensive end. We've got to be better. We've got to be disciplined. I'll tell you what, Aaron Howard. Florida State has not missed a shot yet. Samuel, just a little bit too strong. Gordon? Why not? And... Coach White says take a timeout. Coach Jebbia agrees for Florida State. Jules Spear guarded by Gordon. Maybe you're surprised Bajetti's not on her. Yeah, I thought Sarah Bajetti would be on her, but this time in transition, Bajetti does get the yep. matchup. It's tough, though. Who do you match up Gordon with? Scored by Scruggs, who is getting a start again for Harrison, who turned an ankle yesterday. Bajetti with the miss. Rebound by Samuel. Left open just for a moment. That's all the time she needed. Elise Williams and Olivia Samuel were so good. Pichetti all the way through the lane. Same with Gordon who tries the tough reverse layup. Almost went in. Now, now we do. Yep, you're getting that matchup. Pichetti on Spear gives up a few inches, but Pagetti is just a really good defensive player. I would definitely take advantage of that. Williams on the interior. Taylor O'Brien, number 11 for Florida State, has checked in along with Mariana Valenzuela. Mexican national. Plays with some Mexican teams for her home country. Number five. Inside, uh, Timson might have gotten away. Inside, quick shot by O'Brien, who just came in. Matchups, just two of 15 from the three. Uh, certainly, Florida State, a different type of defensive team than what she faced with Virginia. And I think when you're struggling from the three-point line, or if you are struggling from the three-point line, find other ways. Get to the rim, get to the foul line. I mean, Jules, Jules Spears yeah. is a complete player. But sometimes, mentally, you start to settle. And I think she can look to attack a little bit more. Samuel, another good look. Oh, boy, Myers, almost friendly fire. Knocked over O'Brien, but was able to retain possession. The Jetty. Deciding to attack Williams, and the help came over. Here's Sarah Bajetti, third year at Florida State after starting off in six <laughs> languages. Also a very talented singer. Florida State, but has grown leaps and bounds as a player this year. Certainly has. Primarily a defender a year ago, and this year relied upon a little bit more on the offensive end. And speaking about rely... Robin.
the jetty. Getting it over to Gordon. Wow, that's top four seeds all got double buys, which means that we will see them all tomorrow. Notre Dame, the top seed. Duke up there as well. Becker! Oh, out of that 17, 18 foot range, you've got to be able to go out and contest. It was a long two for her. So Duke, Virginia Tech, Louisville, Notre Dame. Those are the four seeds we will see tomorrow. Check that, that, that basket by O'Brien, pardon me. Number 11 for Florida State. Getting close to 30 seconds, and now Valenzuela comes up with the ball. Quickly gets it to Gordon. Gordon plays at a great pace. Bajetti for three. A tie-up. Possession arrow will send it to Wake. They get the ball with the shot clock off. The Wake with a chance to get the last points. Becker, they left her alone. She will take the three. Almost rolled in. And Florida State gets the basketball with 2.3 seconds left to go in the quarter. Let's see, Gordon's fast. Let's see how fast she is. It will take a couple of dribbles. The shot would not have counted had hit gone in. Florida State had six different players score. You went to Maryland, so were you around during that time? I, I was in the, it was in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Dina Tate, Vicki Bullet, that team. Oh, yeah. We're well, definitely going to need something out of her. Timpson. She's left it short. Good hustle by Becker to get back there and at least bother the shot. Spear. Too long on that one. Rebound tipped out by Andrews. So Florida State getting the opportunity to play today with Latson out. And now she shows her stuff. Ladies, what a luxury for Brooke Wyckoff when you can lose one Florida Gatorade Player of the Year and replace her with a two-time Florida Gatorade Player of the Year in Omaria Gordon. I was just looking at a couple of things of whatever my role is. I was going to play that role to the best of my ability. Coming off of the bench and now starting. Whatever she needs to do, she does it for her team. Tonight, Latson not available today. An undisclosed injury. Timpson was fouled by Spear. So she that was Brooke Wyckoff's number, her head coach. Was a retired jersey player, worked her way up, chosen in the WNBA by Carolyn Peck. A lot of people didn't think, you know, she's one of these overachievers and hard workers, and Timson wants to be just like that. That's quite an honor. It absolutely is. Got to get to the foul line, you know, see the ball go through the net. And Spear is one of those players who could rip off five or six straight when she gets going, but so far she's getting shut out. Pass inside. Gosh, and Hines got a piece. Myers back at the free throw line. Wake Forest has not taken a free throw yet. Myers missed them both. And Wake Forest is settling for jump shots. Yep. Now they're not really putting pressure on the defense at all to get themselves to the foul line. Look at Jules Spears' numbers. 16 points a game on the season. Zero tonight. 0 for 8 from the floor. And what's happening with Jules Spear is that she's primarily trying to make something happen with the ball in her hands. I think Wake Forest can look to run some off-ball screening action, get her moving without the basketball, screen the screener action. Sometimes when you're a great scorer, the best way to get open is to be a screener first. So then your man has to help. Meyer's got a great look there on the baseline and buried it. Of not putting pressure on the defense, taking some quick shots. I mean, again, continue and run the screen and roll action and hit the pop for another three-point shot. Brooke Wyckoff takes a timeout. That is one of the things that these conference tournaments can do. If you have a deep run and other teams ahead of you stumble, perhaps you could sneak in and get a top four seed spear. 
Got the Becker screen and then lost the ball momentarily. Scruggs. Finally, early in the ball game where they've struggled taking quick jump shots, no ball reversal, not really forcing Florida State's defense to work. Count it. Becker called for the foul. It's like two and a half minutes to go now in the first half. First of four games coming your way and another throw away for Wake. They seemed out of sync at times on offense for Coach Jevia. This one starting 22 hours after their game started yesterday. The Jetty. Money. Let's see if they can salvage something. Samio. Florida State outscored Wake 13 to 2. And if you knock down shots, it's going to then open up the paint again for Timpson inside. And yeah, both teams are down. A starter, Kaya, Kaya Harrison, the starting point guard for Wake, is out. Turned an ankle yesterday. Watson, the freshman of the year, who set an ACC record for uh, scoring, breaking Diamond to Shields' former record when she was a freshman at North Carolina. Uh, probably going to be the national freshman of the year, unavailable today because of an undisclosed injury. But Jetty, she got to the foul line, and, and all great scorers. She is the first freshman ever to lead the ACS league. Average. Over 21 points per game. And we certainly hope to see her back relatively soon. That's good hustle by Sumio to even get close. Go over to Angel Gray now. I was able to catch up with Coach Jebby, and she told me it comes down to two things as far as the adjustments in the second half. The what energy and momentum, and how do they get it? She's no, you're not probably not going to get it. This is the third time these teams have played each other, so you're probably not going to get it off of one action. There's got to be multiple. And we just saw Jewel Spear hit her first points of the game on a three. Spear in the first half, their leading score was 0 for 8. And now they get it inside yeah. to Hines. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to find out where Dave will connect it. <laughs> Here's Jewel Spear, guarded by Gordon. You see the size mismatch, but gosh, Gordon's fast and quick. Hines at the top and goes in. Man, that is a high degree of difficulty, and she made it look relatively easy. Little spear directing traffic, telling Scruggs to clear out. And then throwing it up and in, and that's the kind of stuff she can do. She uses her body to stay between her and when she gets that shot off. Timpson threw the double at the last instant. Both. Simpson delivering. And then shows the jumping ability, able to go up and grab the rebound. Felicia got Jack in her first year at Syracuse. Simpson knocking down a couple more from the free throw line. Spear from three. Nobody checked Becker properly, and she was able to put in the follow. Becker setting the screen and off the switch, Bajetti. Yeah, we've seen Bajetti throw up a couple of shots underneath. That were difficult. Williams. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jetty with Gordon taking a rest, running the point. O'Brien, grad transfer from Bucknell. Back to the Jetty. Another drive to the basket, and this time she was stopped by Williams. O'Brien tipped it out of bounds. Wake basketball. Yeah. They are watching their would-be opponent. I tell you what, Wake Forest has come alive offensively. That's she's, another difficult shot. Yeah, she's got to get touches inside. Yeah, you got to get it to Timpson. They are now one of eleven from the floor in this quarter. Florida State. He led by as many as twenty. Nice look inside. It's close to Spear. And I like those looks for Jewel Spear. Moving without the basketball, screening off the ball, getting some looks to the rim. The Deeks, after an abysmal second quarter, have turned it on here in the third, and Hines forced another turnover. Williams. Very short, but Samuel with another big board. O'Brien trying to check Spear. Drove past her and drew the foul. And you combine today and yesterday's first round game against Virginia. It sure is. And we saw yesterday in their matchup against UVA. Hot in the first and third quarter, cold in the second and fourth. We knew it was a matter of time. Myers rescues, spin, short, rebound, wake. And they picked it up on the defensive end, doing a much better job of clogging the interior. Timpson is out now for Florida State. And again, no Tania Latson, unavailable because of a, an unknown injury. And now Elise Williams makes it a two-point ball game. It's a 13-0 Wake Forest run. Rolled off for Valenzuela. Spear found Williams. Have to regroup. Spear checked by the jetty. Spins, throws it up left handed and drew another foul. 20. Knocking down some shots will do that. Tie game. Wow. That's what Jeff Wall said when we talked to him last week. He's been a head coach in this league for 16 years. Only Katie Meyer has been there longer. And Sarah Bajetti threw it at Jasmine Madsengill, who wasn't even looking that way. Again, I think Florida State offensively has to go back to trying to get some touches on the interior. You're likely not going to get it on the first side of the floor. Run some actions to get some ball reversals, but Wake Forest really doing a great job of executing it. Olivia Selmio, we know that's what she does. It's on the top of the scouting report. She's picking pop, and she's been wide open. First lead of the game for Wake Forest. The run is now 18-0. There's some confusion for Florida State offensively, not really understanding what they're trying to get, what actions they're running. The Jetty couldn't get the three to go. And Wake Forest. And Wake Forest offensively was just outstanding in that quarter. Jewel Spear was shut out in the first half. All those numbers on the right came in the third quarter for Wake. Florida State missed 14 of their 15 shots in the third. Simpson held up on their first possession, possession of the fourth quarter. Pam Ward, Stephanie White, and Angel Gray joining you. First of four games coming your way from Greensboro this afternoon in the second round.
We've got NC State and Syracuse coming up next. But what a turn of events. Wake down 20 early in the third. Drew Spear! She's getting three-point shots because Florida State's bigs are in the paint. Gordon took steps and unavailable in this game. But Jetty just committed a foul. Ladies, we have to credit Coach Jebbia for the adjustments that she made at halftime. She told me the two boxes that needed to be checked were energy as another three is knocked down by Jules Spear. She also said momentum, which her team has done in the third quarter. Her team responded in the way that every coach wants them to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's evident. I mean, when you make shots, your energy certainly shifts. And this is the team in Wake Forest who's found their shot-making ability. And right now, Florida State shot selection has not been good in this second half. It certainly has not. Timpson has it taken away by Samuel. In the third quarter, belonging to Wake, they scored 29 points in the third after scoring two here in the third. Some Samuel, they can't stop them on this end, and they can't score on the other. Well, execution is so much better for Wake Forest. Again, off-ball movement, off-ball screening action, getting ball reversals in the second half, multiple players touching it, and it moving quickly. It's not getting stuck. 26 nothing. Wake run. Finally. In Washington, D.C., Spear goes around. Myers and hits it off glass. I think the challenge to your team of just being intentional, playing with purpose, having a sense of urgency. O'Brien with the three. Winner gets Louisville tomorrow. Williams laying it off for Hines. Williams coming up with the rebound to go from 15 down to 11 up. And they have not looked back since. Hines tried to keep it alive, did! That's they, a, they seem to be winning all the 50-50 yeah. balls, right? That's a rebound KK Timpson has to come up with. Just keep on coming. And Wake Forest is on the cusp of getting themselves in the record book. This would be the second largest second half comeback in the ACC tournament history. Wake Forest getting to all of the 50-50 balls in the second half, getting multiple possessions. Seed, one of nine teams he has in the tournament. The NCAA tournament. Force has advanced now in four straight ACC tournaments. Sonio with the dagger. They have outscored Florida State by 31 points in this second half. Wow. Well, what an effort to come out of the locker room after the first half, particularly the second quarter that they had. And to answer the challenge of their head coach, Megan Jevia. It's a challenge ahead. Playing Louisville. Louisville has not played since last Sunday in this game. Another rebound. Kaya Harrison yeah. 
injured point, point guard and leading game. scorer. Absolutely, <laughs> point guard, and you know she's she's really done a great job all season long of running this team. But give credit to Jewel Spear and Elise Williams who are taking over their primary ball handling responsibilities. And Harrison, their leader, not as a scorer but certainly as a floor general. Tania Latson, the leading scorer for Florida State. Jevia working some magic at American University. Two-time Patriot League Coach of the Year. Five 20-win seasons. On their way to the quarterfinals. Florida yeah. State continuing to foul. O'Neal now with 13 on the afternoon. He's got three threes and nine rebounds. <laughs> Late three for Howard. He's got four threes on the day, but fear the spear indeed. Not the spear of the Seminoles, but Jewel Spear. The Texan. No points in the first half. And then lit it up in the second with 19. Wake Forest down.